There is nothing, nothing impossible. No, there is nothing, nothing too difficult. Because you're with me, with me. I am not afraid. Nothing is too hard for you. to dance. My cousin Willow will be there too. She finds the best bedtime stories for us to read. And I can't forget my cousin Shay. She thinks of the best treats for us to make. I can't wait to do all this fun stuff. And then I'll get to sleep all cozy in my sleeping bag on Grandma's floor. Except, I've never slept anywhere but my own bed. That's why I'm taking Mr. Bear. If I'm afraid, I can cuddle him super tight and he can help me be brave. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Going on a sleepover at Grandma's, are you? Hey, Ollie. Yes, I am. I'm super excited, but I'm also afraid. Sometimes being brave is hard. It's true. But I know someone who can help you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Well, hello, friends! 
friends, I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. I'm so happy to see you today. Do you want to see my latest creation? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Aren't they cute? Each one has a little baby cradle on it because today's story starts with a baby. Are you ready to hear it? If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins, like I said, with the baby and his mom. <laughs> Look at how sweet he is. His name is Baby Moses. You can tell his mom loves him so much. <laughs> but there was a mean king and he wanted to get rid of all the baby boys in God's family. Everyone say, oh no, oh no. Moses' mom wanted to protect her baby. She knew that God was always with her and would always be with baby Moses. That helped her be brave. So she and her daughter Miriam went down to the river and hid Moses in a basket in the tall grass. Then Miriam hid and watched to see what would happen. Let's help Moses' sister watch. Tell me if you see anything. Do you see something? Oh, it's a bunny! <laughs> Hi, bunny! <laughs> okay, keep watching. Do you see something? <gasps> what is it? <laughs> it's a jumping fish! How fun! Keep watching. I think I hear someone. <gasps> it's the princess. Do you think she's going to help baby Moses? Look, she's holding baby Moses. She's going to bring him home and keep him safe. But wait, she needs someone to help her take care of the baby. Moses' sister Miriam came out from behind the tall grass and told the princess, I know who can help with the baby. It was Moses' mom. Moses' mom can help. This is so great, baby Moses is safe and he still gets to be with his mom. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, God, you were with her the whole time. Do you know what? No matter where you go or what you do, God is always with you too. God is always with us. Did you like this story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey there, Ollie, tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God was with Moses and his mom, and God is always with you and me, too. Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God was with Moses' mom and helped her be brave. And God is always with us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm still taking Mr. Bear with me, but I don't need him to be brave because God is with me. I'm ready to go. See you all next time. Bye. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, 8. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, 8.